All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wonderful people of so freedom all over the world. Wherever you're joining us from today, you're highly welcome to this wonderful YouTube platform that gives you quality news and information on everything happening in Biafran territory. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification, and you will be notified whenever we drop our spanking news. Now, let us go straight up to the issue on ground because um, uh, the major prophet of God um, in Biafran land has given another prophecy. In a period where it's as if, you know, every so-called prophet, every um, pastor, you know, are prophesying both those that have the gift of prophecy and those that do not have the gift of prophecy are prophesying and giving wrong direction to a christians the reality is that one has been exempted at least at least this man has been given adequate prophecy i'm not the type of person that posts any pastor and if you check my channels very well you see that i try as much as possible not to you know present any pastor's prophecy because most of them are all liars but the reality is that this man has been accurate in his prophecy and that is the most important thing the, the prime minister simon ekman joko also who believes in spirituality also has been posting this man and he has said a very important message to every Biafran irrespective of the um, election that was won by Donald Trump and how it will help Biafra, how it will affect Biafra and what it will do in the Biafra restoration. He has given a very important prophecy and that is what we are going to be listening to today but before we go deep into that prophecy that important prophecy the reality is that the next video will shock you because you will hear a lot of expositions concerning the vindication of the prime minister simon Eka and the vindication of mazi namdekanu people have failed to understand that nigeria is a terrorist country and because of their terrorism, and because of the way these Fulani oligarchy have been trying to Islamize Nigeria, because of the way you know terrorism has become a, you know another has become a new deal and a norm in this so-called country, we have decided to leave the so-called contraption called Nigeria. Quote me anywhere. Anybody at this point fighting against the Prime Minister Simon Ekwa has no conscience for humanity. Because you cannot see the atrocities of the Nigerian government. You cannot see the genocidal attacks and the pain, you know, here and there in Biafra land. And yet you're supporting the, the, the zoo government. No. Biafrans have taken a stance. Biafran has taken a direction. Biafran has given their hopes to the Prime Minister Simon Epa Njoko. But do not forget that there are still people who are ready to go all out to deceive, you know, the gullible in not joining the quest for freedom. But whatever you're doing, ask yourself, are you really happy in this contraption called Nigeria? Ask yourself, do you want to remain under a government that does not give, that doesn't give a damn about you, that doesn't care about the people, that is ready to buy the people, that is ready to do and undo whatever it takes for them to take over the country? and take over the Biafran people. Are you ready to continue to be oppressed by these dictators and this tyrant? If no is your answer, all I can tell you is, do what is needful for the freedom of your people. And also keep on supporting Let's talk TV because we are here to give you all the information 
pertaining everything happening in Biafra land. So, so to support us and, un, and encourage us, please send a super sticker, super chat, or super thanks to us. As you do so, may God bless you and your family. Amen. First, first water, the first water of the leadership of Donald Trump, the American economy is going to bounce back. American economy is going to bounce back. And by this American economy bouncing back, there is going to be a lot of sanctions. Sanctions to different countries. When I say countries, the sanction is also called a trade war. And this trade war is going to happen in such a way that some of the Arabic nations are going to have a lot of issues that they need to sort out with Donald Trump. And not only that, China also. China is going to have a lot of things in their hands to contend with as the new government is coming forward. The first thing God told me is about the American economy is what is going to trigger his coming back. And when the American economy triggers his coming back, it's coming back just to compete and make sure that the economy of America bounces back. And uh, I am seeing what's called the wars, especially the war, Ukrainian war, is going to completely be put to full stop. And this very war is not going to continue anymore. There's going to be what's called the discontinuity of what's called the, the, the war that is right there in Ukraine. And uh, there's going to be what's called a rebuilding of the city of Ukraine. The money that have been pumped into wars, the money that have been pumped into ammunition to bring down Russia to fight, to do this and do that, is going to be channeled to what's called rebuilding the country of what's called this was called ukrainian country ukraine is going to be rebuilt this is one thing that is very very sure then another thing that major prophet god has been able to scan through is what's called president zelensky of what's called the, the zelensky of, of ukraine the president zelensky of ukraine we need to pray for him because i am seeing ukraine being removed from power zelensky the president of ukraine i am seeing zelensky being removed from power and replaced these are the things that will play out by the time that this is going to play out major prophet of god will still keep you updated because when it comes to the things of the spirit as the lord is opening the eyes of his servant the major prophet of god to look at the spiritual world i will pick up what is in the realm of the spirit as the spirit of god has carried me in the realms of the spirit to begin to glance into the future i'll bring it to you and they will still hesitate i will not hesitate to make sure that all of these things are made very clear to you so that you cannot be a novice to the things of the spirit so i am seeing what's called president zelensky being removed and replaced because that's going to be by all means peace is going to return back to ukraine and the ukraine is going to be rebuilt for this purpose is why i'm seeing what's called zelensky being replaced so may the lord be glorified and the lord be praised forever and ever for he is god and he never change he is god he never disappoint when he says yes no man can say no the door he opens nobody can close that door so we must continue to pray i pray that his removal will not result to death will not result to death i pray it should not result to death I pray because you know when major prophet of God has seen something that is negative I will try all I want to do to make sure that it becomes a pray a prayer a prayer to pray for him we pray the prayer is he should not become dead but should become something that is life so we pray for that and let the Lord be praised forever and ever that concerned the country of what's called a Ukrainian country and what's called a, the war is going to be completely put to a full stop and also the rebuilding of Ukraine is going to be rapidly done and I am seeing what's called a, this is what's called a, the, 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 the fund that belongs to Russia that has been confiscated by the war power especially NATO and the rest of them America the, 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 this was called Russian fund that are confiscated return back to Russia return back to Russia these are the things that are going to play out because some of this fund are also going to be used to rebuild in the land of Ukraine
we give God the glory because God is God and God is not a man we must continue to play the role of what's called the peacekeeping on the face of the earth the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof and anything that goes on the face of the earth that does not bring peace every child of God every servant of God is to stand in the gap to pray and also prove a solution for peace to reign on the face of the earth because this is the world that God has made and for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Jesus Christ and by Jesus Christ we are made to come and represent that office occupy till he comes and that is why major prophet of God is remaining in the office of prophecy to now continually prophesy until the Lord comes major prophet of God will prophesy and so that is what is already in the realm of the spirit that the Lord has shown to his servant, the major prophet of God, to talk about. Because when we talk about these people who are prayer warriors and people who are all intercessors from different parts of the world will continue to intercede and pray. I was going through what's called somebody online talking about Donald Trump to be impeached. That's not possible. It's not possible. There's nothing like that in the realm of the spirit. Major prophet of God, I've looked at the spiritual world and I've glanced through the regime of Donald Trump and not seen anything impeachment. Though there's going to be a stepping of toes and many people are going to come out to now try to do one or two things. But the issue of what Donald Trump experienced in the other time of his leadership, this time around is going to be quite different because this time around he's coming with what was called more determined and more, more focused and more concentrated to make sure that America gets better. That's a message that the Lord is showing to major prophet of God to see it first and prophesy it the way it is. He's going to rule his four years. There's not going to be anything impeachment to him. It's not going to be anything impeachment for him. All we should pray now is to pray that America should bounce back fully because we are all in the support that America should do well. When America do well, we are happy. When America is doing well, we rejoice. When America is doing well, the world will be happy because this is what was called the police of the world. So we must give them every support that they need spiritually and physically and making sure that everything is all right. And then when they sing a song, they say, everything is turning around for good. So let everything turn around for good that the people in America may be happy and also rejoice. We need to pray and continue to trust the Lord for God is God and God is not a man. God can never be a man. God will remain God and continue to be who he is at all time in the name of Jesus Christ. Another issue in the realm of the spirit that major prophet God is now looking at, it is too early to begin to dive into the governance of Donald Trump and telling you what the future holds and who is going to be the next American president after Donald Trump. These are the areas we have to focus attention and begin to look at the spiritual world and begin to look at what is going to happen. But there are people that the Lord has shown to major prophet of God to see and begin to also point the spiritual finger on them so that these are the people that are likely to go and merge and become one day presidents of America. Major prophet of God has seen it all and the Lord will continue to do what he is going to do and nobody can say no i am seeing in the team of donald trump in the team of donald trump i'm seeing right there this was called elon musk this was called the the, the, the young man that was taken together with elon musk to this two of these people two of these people are about to be washed out in the next uh, what's called uh, next coming forward when the next american election is going to begin to come forth these are people to watch out uh, i don't know how to remember the name of the other young man that was together in a in a particular portfolio that was given to Elon Musk and that young man. So these two people should be watched. The hand of the Lord is already pointing there. But it's too early to begin to dive into things that will happen in the future. You remember that when I gave the prophecy that God was not done with Donald Trump, I told you God is not done with Donald Trump. That was 2020. That was 2020. Nobody could ever believe that this very prophecy will come to pass in a day. But major prophet of God has glanced into the future. And I told you, I said, God is not done with Donald Trump. Because I'm seeing Donald Trump coming to contest again to become American president. 
this is the prophecy given on this altar it is for you to respect god and give god glory and know there's nothing on the face of the earth that happened at the back of god so we're looking at what is going to happen and we're looking at the future and we'll begin to prophesy things as the lord is giving the major prophet of god the grace to prophesy major prophet of god i am not ashamed of prophecy because it is what god has given to me as the power of god to begin to prophesy that people may be blessed all over the world and people can be able to walk in light and not in darkness and people can give god the glory and people can say oh god you are god and that's why the song someone said you are god from beginning to the end there's no place for argument you are all by yourself you are God you are God from beginning to the end there's no place for argument now recognize and also what's called this was called state of Piafra in the realm of the spirit to the realm of the physical but we must continue for peace of God to reign upon the face of the earth because it is the will of God for peace to reign. Let the peace of God reign for we are praying for the peace of God. Major prophet of God is a born to prophesy and when it comes to prophesy I will not shy away from prophesying the truth because I will prophesy the truth whether it be for me or it be for another person or it be for another people or it be for another nation nation i don't care what i care is to go ahead prophesy whatever i see in the realm of the spirit and that is why when the people were going oh it is time for kamara harris it is time for american female to be a president i said the america is not ripe they are not ripe for what people are thinking or saying that the next president is donald trump I did not say it to disprove or to hate or to now go against anybody. I'm saying what I see in the realm of the spirit because I'm seeing what's called Donald Trump right there in the month of January. I'm seeing what's called an inauguration date in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing a date called 20th of January. And this 20th of January, I'm seeing what's called inauguration of what's called the president elect of America, Donald Trump, to become the next president of America. And this is 47th presidency of america and in the speech and i'm seeing as the speech was going on and after all said and done and donald trump entered into the office and i saw what's called recognition of the state of biafra recognition of the state of biafra right there in the white house donald trump somebody get to look at major prophet of god why you see you see you see tomorrow it's not the major prophet of God. It's the God of the major prophet of God. Because when it comes to accurate prophecy, it is not the man you are looking at. It is the spirit. The spirit of God. And that's what they sang a song. They say, something more than gold. Something more than silver. The spirit of the Lord in the life of man is something more than gold. Something more than gold. Northerners cry in pain as Mazi Nam Dekano and Mazi Samaneba vindicated. Here are the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite Channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 19th of November 2024. And I have this very all-important video for every one of you listening to my voice right now from wherever you are all over the world. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very news. Because it's very, very important, I can assure you, my people, the Northern elders and Northern citizens, or should I say, are the citizens are currently crying in pain for what is currently going on not just in the northern part of the zoo but in Sokoto in particular as Mazi Nam De Kano, Mazi Simon Epa, the Prime Minister have all been vindicated so I will tell you how these two Biafran leaders have been vindicated but before then let us watch this very video in details don't go nowhere because we still have more in the kitchen the local hour 
they came in as a radical and violent group with quote and unquote their own islamic teachings and also their own uh, islamic ideology and the unfortunate thing is that they don't have a very good understanding of the religion neither do they have an understanding of what exactly they want to do and the fact of the matter is the locals will tell you they preach religion they preach their own ideology and their own teachings but they seem not to even understand what they are actually into and what do we see we see people from different nationalities they are not mostly not nigerians they are from niger from Burkina faso from benin from mali and other parts uh, of the sahel but the most interesting thing about it is that again they don't even understand the language of each other now the person who is speaking is from sokoto himself <laughs> but there is something that wonders me he said the most interesting thing is that the people in question are not even from nigeria so that brings me to this very question where are they from and again he said that they do not speak one language they don't even understand themselves so where are they from that is not even the question did they come to the zoo with a whole lot of money and purchase ak-47 from the zoo military pay attention this is a very important question did they come to the zoo with a lot of money from all those sahel countries and purchase ak-47 assault rifles from the zoo army or did they come with this ak-47 from all these countries that he mentioned and then they cross the zoo borders and enter into the northern zoological republic and start causing mayhem or did they arrive the zoo after arriving the zoo then <laughs> this Fulani oligarchy that want to dip their whatever in atlantic ocean and then to fulanize all of us are they the ones that purchased this ak-47 gave it to them and asked them to go into the villages and start terrorizing the innocent citizens so these are the questions waiting and begging for answer from this very northern oligarchy let's continue that is very clear and in some part of uh, sokoto where they operate in this local government areas that i'm going to mention around elela around tangaza godu bale benji silami down to some part of uh, kb particularly in kangiwa in Augi, and as we speak today they are in some part of argungu local government area i think this is a threat and a very fundamental threat not only to nigerian security but to international uh, uh international security and also it is an international threat in my own opinion the fight against these people requires a robust and elaborate operation we don't actually need to engage in customistic security operation in these places because they have entrenched the communities they have gotten the, the acceptance on the part of the communities and what do we see traditional authorities even yesterday i was talking i was relating with some of them they said they have no option you've seen people with military grade weapons you wake up in the morning you see them you see them at night did you hear that you see people with military grade weapons i want you to outline that word this man confirmed that you wake up early in the morning and see people with military grade weapons he said it's not me who gave them these military grade weapons who gave it to them who gave it to them if it's not the zoo terrorist army who gave it to them i want you to follow my people things are going on remember mazi nam de kano mazi samoneba have all been vindicated i have not even spoken about that that will come towards the end of this very broadcast let us continue you have no option other than to follow them and that is what is actually going on in these rural areas if you look at if you take for instance out the local government you find quite a number of the district Kwaido taken over by these people Shafazane taken over most of these areas are actually under the control of this uh, terrorist group and they are just like I said earlier 
non-Nigerians. But the possibility of our local people supporting and joining them and accepting their ideology is actually on the increase because now this is not Boko Haram. He's not talking about Boko Haram. This is not Al-Qaeda in my grip. This is not ISIS in West Africa. This is not uh, Iswap. This is not Fulani bandits. This is not Mieti Allah. Neither is it Ansaru. Or maybe the lowest one, which is, uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call this one? Hisba. We are talking about a brand new Fulani terrorist group in Sokoto State wrecking havoc as i'm talking to you now let's continue as they collect taxes not only collect these taxes they when they impose the taxes they collect these taxes in, in cash and they will also direct you we are in so 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 location at so 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 point we want so 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 amount to be submitted or to be to be to be given to us and at the end of the day you will be the one to take the money to the extent that in arugungu in Augi, in some part of Kangiwa, and even part of Sokoto states, uh, around Tangaza, around Gudu, and Silami, they have established a network in which this network serves as their agents. Did you get that? This man is mentioning the names of the areas that this new terror group has taken over, right? And the military is aware of it. The police is aware of it. In fact, I don't want to talk about that now. I will tell you something towards the end of the broadcast. Let's continue. They impose levies on you, 10 heads of your cattle. They will say you pay 200 or 300,000. If you want to pay, we are in Juma Jimmy, we are in Gira Gili, we are in Raka, we are, they will mention locations. And you see people submitting, collecting this money, paying to them directly. They even know where to see them. They have their, their agents, the motorcyclists, that actually take individuals to some of these places. So in my own opinion, it is a very serious threat beyond our imagination and we really need a robust international collaboration it's not just about the issue of nigeria anymore rather it is the issue of getting the support of international communities to deal with this particular threat it is eminent it is increasing it is expanding and rural communities are crying day in day out about the activities of this group let me now tell you something my people <laughs> he's crying for international help no international will come for your aid no one because even the international is aware that your own government is the one sponsoring the terrorism yes they know <laughs> so i don't want to talk too much about what is going on in the north i just want to remind us something i want to start with mazinam the Kano, then end it with maz samoneba Mazin Namdekanu told them, he said it, <laughs> that we are going to draw the Janja weed in the Afro land and they will all join their ancestors while trying to stop us here in the Afro land. He said it, Mazin Namdekanu said it, and do you know how we are drawing them? Because we have the army and they want to stop our army, which can never happen. This is how we draw them into the Afro land and they are all joining their ancestors in our land. Do you know why Mazi Simonepa has been vindicated? Do you know why? I will tell you. <laughs> Mazi Simonepa has been vindicated because if Mazi Simonepa is not doing what he's doing today, if he did not come after the kidnap and rendition of Mazi Namdekano, which the target was to remove him in order to get to all of us because they saw him as the stumbling block right they wanted to remove him for forming the eastern security network back then to fight for his freedom to stop the danger weed, to stop the fulani terrorists from dipping their whatever in atlantic ocean they tried to stop him now mazi samaneka came and he has become <laughs> even worse than mazi nam Dekano was to them now it is a big problem for them had it been that there was no Mazi Samonepa after the kid kidnap and rendition of Mazi Namdekan by now, and then they use the criminals that call themselves DOS members to destabilize ESN as they just did, <laughs> what would have been your fate by now? Dear friends, what would have been your fate at this very point in time? Where they have already seven terror groups in the northern part of the zoo, yet another new one they called him they call them tangawiza or whatever they call them 
another new one brand new fresh from yard has just you know <laughs> formed in sokoto now those seven groups the former ones are not enough for them they are still forming another one in the same northern zoological republic what will happen if you don't have the afro liberation army